Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. So a few years ago, I watched this video on YouTube of a grocery store trip where somebody takes the footage of themselves walking around in a food store but edits it to look like they're having a first person psychedelic trip. Now they look like they're off of around 10 tabs of LSD. There's dogs coming out of the food packaging. There's people literally glitching out of the matrix. It's a madness, okay? I don't condone the use of any illegal or legal substances in this video. I'm just an artist showing you how to recreate the effect. Now, now, when I first saw this effect, I figured it would be nearly impossible for me to replicate, as I assumed that the creator had probably built his own software to make this happen. But recently I came across the effect again and I realised that it's now an open source artificial intelligence software called Deep Dream. It's free to use and with a small amount of practice it's a very fun way to edit your videos and it's also a way to add some very creative filters to your photography. Now if you want to learn about the AI photo filters, how to use the right settings and how to create some powerful effects for your artwork slash photography then I'll leave a timestamp on the screen now. But if you're here to learn how to make the famous deep dream trippy video effect, then keep watching. Right before we get into that, man has been sponsored. So, this video is sponsored by Exter, who makes smart wallets. Now you guys know I don't really have sponsors on the channel, and it's because I don't want to promote things that I don't actually want to support, but these wallets are honestly very cool. So the main thing that makes Exter smart wallets stand out is because they have this little button on the side which makes your cards slide out so you could use a contactless payment without even opening your wallet. They also look very nice, they're very light, it's good quality leather. They also have built-in technology which allows you to call your wallet if you've lost it, or even track it if it's not nearby so let's say your wallet gets stolen you could hop in your car track your wallet drive right behind the thief keep beeping at him until he just gives up and throws the wallet out the window and then you're fine <laughs> but actually they probably just take the money out so that might not work but it's a cool feature anyway the technology is solar powered and just two hours in the sun will keep your wallet powered for three months so if you guys think these wallets are as cool as i do then you can check them out using the link down below and make sure you use code griffin15 so you can get 15 percent off any wallet on their site you're supporting them and you're supporting me all right anyway back to the video Okay guys, so before we jump into the tutorial, I'm going to quickly try to explain a little bit about how this artificial intelligence works. Now I'm probably going to get everything that I've already read wrong and explain this in a very strange way, but it's because it's so confusing, but I think I have a rough grasp on it, okay? So it's a convolutional neural network. This means that it's an artificial intelligence that has been built based upon biological neural networks found within animal brains, meaning the AI learns in a similar way to how we would learn. They analyze patterns within images, and as you push the AI harder, it begins to overprocess and will find patterns within images based off of patterns that they have learned previously in other images. Now this is similar to how our brains work whilst having a psychedelic trip. If you place your imagination onto a spider, especially if the spider is representing fear in your psyche, you might start to manifest a room full of spiders. Now I know that when you're tripping you're doing more than just over processing your immediate vision. I'm aware that saying that will piss some high level psychonauts off, but it definitely can capture some similar visual states. So with that being said, you need two things in order to make a trippy deep dream video. You need the video that you want to turn into a trippy video, obviously, so go capture a video, something in nature is quite cool you want there to be a little bit of movement a bit of motion in your video uh, and you also want the deep dream generator so i'll have a link to that down in the description there's a few different sites but i found that the one we're going to be using it generates images very quickly and it has a ton of pre-made filters for us to have fun with Alright guys, so this artificial intelligence is basically just a long line of coding, meaning if you want to learn how to make really long deep dream videos and get really in depth into the effect, then you need to learn how to code. I'm kind of showing you the next best way to create deep dreams, it does however mean that you're limited to only making quite small videos, because this method would take you way too long to create a long video. Okay guys, so now you have your video ready, you're going to want to open up your video editing software. In this video I'm using Sony Vegas Pro, but you're probably going to be using Adobe Premiere and I know that that works perfectly as well so what you want to do is you want to drag the video into the timeline and pull it right to the very start now we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna put my cursor right to the beginning of the timeline so that we're on frame number one now what we need to do is capture a snapshot which effectively turns this frame from within the video into a still image and it's going to save it as an image file somewhere on our computer. So let's make a new folder on the desktop and call it Deep Dream 1 and now making sure that we're on frame 1 we're going to save our first snapshot. Here's the Sony Vegas button for doing so and I'll have up on the screen what it looks like on Adobe Premiere. 
Now you're gonna save frame one as one. When we do this for frame two, you're gonna name that two. When you do it for frame three, you're gonna name that three. Otherwise, we're gonna lose track of which image is for which frame. Now this is a bit tedious, but we need to do this for as many frames as we want to have in the video. Once you've done the first few though, you get into a nice rhythm and you should have this done within a few minutes. So before we go ahead and generate every single frame, why don't we just use frame number one as a testing frame to decide what kind of style we want, what intensity we want the inception to be, and what quality we'd like it. Now I quite like the medium resolution, it's a high enough quality without the dream taking hours to generate. I also like Inception 3B output. I think that's my favorite generator. Something else that you can do is you could have it so every 10 frames the Inception depth went up by one. This would be quite a cool way of making the trip get more and more intense as the video goes on. So yeah, play with these settings, keep generating the first frame until you have the first frame how you'd like it. And once you've decided that those are the presets you're going to use, go ahead and generate every single frame from within the folder we made using those same settings. You're going to want to keep the tabs open in the correct order going from one, two, three, all the way up to the last frame. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit confusing later on. Okay guys, so we're almost done here. It's now time to move all of our Deep Dream photos into a new folder on our desktop. Let's call it Deep Dream 2. So we're now going to go to tab number 1, save the image, call it 1 and put it in the new folder. We're going to do this for all of our frames. And then once you've done that, it's time to drag all of these frames and put them back into our timeline on top of the current video. Now it's very important that the timeline snapping is on. This is because each photo needs to be exactly one frame in size and we're going to be layering every single frame back over the original video so that it fits perfectly. And that is the simplest way of doing it. It's now time to render your video just how you would any video. If you want to have it so that the deep dream effect has a gradual incline, so it starts off as the normal video but slowly fades into the deep dream, then all you have to do is once you've rendered the new video, put it over the top of the original video on your timeline and then just add a simple transition. You could also add an effect so that the video gradually becomes more and more saturated by adding a timer to a saturation effect because with psychedelics colors usually become more and more vivid as the trip intensifies. Here's the video that I made. Now I should have listened to my own tutorial. Towards the start of the video I told you guys to make sure there was some movement in the video Mine's a little bit boring because it doesn't have any movement, which is why I didn't end up making it very long. I didn't want to generate thousands of slides because I figured it probably wasn't going to be a good video. But if you guys followed this tutorial and made some cool Deep Dream videos, then come join our Discord and share the videos in there as I would love to see what you guys have created. Okay, so before I wrap this video up, like I said at the start, I'm going to go over how to do some of the still photo effects. Now, if you've been watching from the start of the video, you probably don't need to watch anymore because now you already know how to use the website. But for those of you that skip, let me run through how to apply some cool filters to your photos. So you literally want to go ahead and upload your images up here. Now you have three different types. You're going to be ignoring Deep Dream because this is basically only used for the video effect. But you have Deep Style or Thin Style. Now Deep Style allows Allows you to go a little bit more in depth the images are a bit more creative and a little bit more trippy but also the image files are a lot bigger and it's slower to generate now with the thin ones there's less presets to choose from but the end results are still very high quality and very trippy so I personally prefer using the thin style so I've just picked this image of me in a cornfield and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply this effect right here it looks pretty cool and i'm going to go into the settings resolution is obviously just the quality of your image so i recommend going full hd and then the enhancement basically decides how much the ai is going to be messing with the image if you put it here it's going to pretty much leave it how it was whereas up here it's going to do some real crazy inception type stuff i'm going to leave it on high and i'm going to hit generate Okay guys, and this is what it generated for us. Look how cool this effect is. It looks like someone's really painted this with, I don't know, maybe they haven't painted this. I don't know what this effect is, but it looks dope. There's so many filters for you guys to use. So definitely have fun with this website. The links are down below. Anyway, that's it from this video, guys. I've been really enjoying this generator recently and I thought you guys might appreciate learning about it as well if you didn't already. If you like this video, drop a like. And if you're still here, no one makes it to the end of videos. But if you're still here, comment down below chickens are not real okay if i see that comment i'm gonna give it a big heart all right thank you so much for watching all of my videos i appreciate y'all um and until next time peace